This video is going to show you how to create the margin by product category drill down report. As you can see on the screen here, it shows you a, a series of metrics, average margin, revenue, cost of goods sold, and profit. And you can drill down on any of the items here through its hierarchy. So for camcorders, we can drill down to the product subcategory. And then for professional equipment, I can drill down to the actual models under that particular area. Uh, the drill down also allows me to restore the original to go back to the beginning and you can see the cookie crumbs there at the top. So let's see how we create this report from scratch. So inside of Info Assist Plus I'm actually going to use the uh, WF Retail Light data source and we're going to use some of the metrics from the measure area and we're going to put them into the query tree to define our report. So we'll actually put on there cost of goods revenue and gross profit and the last field the last field we're going to use is actually a, a calculation so we're going to go to the data tab and we're going to select to create a new defined field so the new field that we're going to create is called margin so I'm going to go here and type in margin as the name and it's a calculation and the calculation is actually made by taking the gross profit and dividing it by the, uh, the revenue and we're actually going to put parentheses around this and multiply it by 100 so we'll put times 100 here and we'll change the format to include a percent sign so we can actually see that on the report and we'll say OK and you can see that new field actually appears in the list uh, here on the left and we'll add it as uh, the first of the measures here and we're going to take that calculated field and we're actually going to perform an operation on it. We actually want it to be an average margin uh, and not the total of all of the margins. As you can see the actual average margin being calculated across the board here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the product category which is under the product dimension to this report and we'll put that as a buy field and you can see the report is beginning to take shape here couple of uh, minor tweaks that we want to make. We want to go to each of these fields and add data bars to them and that actually puts bars on the screen that kind of give you a visual of what that value is equal to compared to the other one. So we'll do that for all of the measures that we have on our report here. Uh, one other final change is that we actually want to sort this report so I'm going to go to the query area by the highest average margin. So we'll go here and say we'd like to sort this in descending order. One more thing we'd like to add to this is actually related to a, a total area. So we can see with the total margin and cost of goods, revenue, and profit. So what we're going to go to our home tab. We're going to go where we have totals here. But we need to do a couple of extra things. So I'm actually going to do uh, more options here. And it's going to give me an option to change how these things are calculated for the total. So in the more options dialog for column total, I'm going to go out and select that I want to recompute these and I don't want to do it for all fields I want to do it differently so I'm going to unselect all fields I'm going to select margin and we're going to choose to make this one an average and we're going to show a summary for all of the other columns and that will give us the exact total area that we want for our report and the other thing that we had on that report if you remember I was able to drill down through a hierarchy so what I can do is go to our format tab and select to uh, do uh, an auto drill and that will allow us to navigate that hierarchy. So now we've actually created our entire report with the drill down uh, set up right through the Info Assist Plus workbench. So you can see now we'll actually run the report and here we have our output with our drill down and our total area as you can see on the bottom. 